Hey, in this short tutorial I'm quickly going over how to create stylized 3D characters um, with AI and rig them. Um, you could use those stylized characters in animations, games or for your website. I'll also show you how to do that in this video. Um, we're gonna use the tool 3 di Studio for that. It's an AI 3D model generator, it also has an image studio um, implemented which we're gonna use for the actual image. Uh, I've went ahead and prepared a prompt. Uh, it's this one. I'll also put it in the video description. Um, and I generated this image in the image eye. Um, I can actually just show you how I did that. Simply putting in the prompt, you can play around with, with the settings a bit. Um, in my case, I think I use something like that. And you can uh, generate this generates an image, um, which you can then use for 3D generation. Um, for example, this would be another one you could use. You could also change um, some things. For, things, for example, you could say boy. Um, in the t-pose where I'm at black hoodie um, and as you can see you can basically change out anything and um, generate images of whatever you like this can be used for stylized models, stylized anything basically and even photorealistic stuff um, but we're gonna stick to that image um, as you can see it has been saved to home so we can click home and um, as you can see I tried a lot a lot of um, stylized characters but we're gonna stick to this one so we are gonna hit download we're gonna go to image to 3d and to the no better model gonna drag and drop the image in here and under advanced options you could also generate PBR materials which means normal maps roughness maps etc um, as we're gonna use this for our website later we don't really need that for now you could always just choose PBR materials if you need it the quality is gonna be high. We're gonna keep the prompt empty because then it generates a prompt based on the image. And now we're gonna hit generate and this usually takes about a minute or two. And I'll just skip this part and I'll see you when it's done. And after about a minute, the model has been generated. We can take a look here. It's a full 3D model. And as you can see, this is the model we used. And the face isn't great yet. So we're gonna put it into the texture eye tool. You can simply hit the paint item and 3D button here and it loads the uh, model into the paint tool. Um, so now we're just gonna do a quick and dirty um, painting uh, process here to kind of quickly show you how it works. I'm gonna say cartoon girl. We can use a similar prompt as the one we used before. Um, let's say 3D installation of character. Um, let's put that here. We can remove all the other prompts. Let's do the illustration of a girl face and let's use which model do you want to use we want to use the fast one and um, let's hit generate this generates an image on the right side basically a new texture we can then paint on the model on the left um, this is perfect for things like faces basically any model where you want to improve the texture quality and um, it generates a new image which isn't bad but doesn't really fit our look so let's add realistic to the prompt, to the negative prompt. Negative prompt is things we don't want in the generated texture. And we can also have 3D illustration. Let's also add stylized. Maybe this like Disney character to kind of get the more stylized look. Let's say generate again. And um, we're hoping for more of a illustration stylized kind of look. If that doesn't work, we'll go with another model there's a lot of options a lot of settings to play around with um, this model is usually the fastest and that's already a bit better um, yeah let's actually go ahead and paint this on here and as you can see that basically instantly improves the model quality by a ton so we can decrease the hardness and strength a bit and paint over the hair as well um, let's also paint over the body parts um, to get more detail into the model itself uh, that doesn't look bad but the eyes are still a bit scuffed not gonna lie um, all right let's go over to the body let's hit generate again but let's say um, close in the prompt because we changed this pers the perspective to kind of um, be more towards uh, the close and not the face um, so let's hit generate again. Um, you could play around with the um, AI model which generates the texture. There are a few options. 
the creative texture i lets you change it to basically com a completely new style in my case that is fine let's paint over it that looks great This is fine for now. I don't want to spend too much time in the texture eye part. Um, you could, of course, spend a lot of time here and just change the details, etc., fix the eyes. Um, but in my case, this looks good. Let's also change. Let's fix this thing here. And that looks good. Let's also fix it here. All right. So you could now, of course, go ahead and paint the whole thing. Let's keep it at that. Let's go into export GLB, which exports the file. You could also save to home, which saves it to your home folder. Um, what we're going to do now is open Blender because it's a GLB file and it's pretty big. You could, of course, use the uh, included remesher. Um, for example, let's say I think I have some testing. Um, you can hit remesh, remesh it into any format you want. You can also hit refine. Um, but we're just going to use Blender for that just to kind of show you how you could do it if you don't want to do it through the website. So we're going to go ahead and import the GLB. And here it is. Um, so what I usually do now, if I don't do it through the website, the website does it automatically. Um, I go into Mesh, Merge by Distance, and it merges by like 3.1. Maybe not by that much. Let's do 3.4. Um, because that helps it when exporting it into another format. It merges some of holes, for example, in the mesh um, that gets merged and let's, let's ex export it as FX. And now we are gonna go over to Mixamo. Mixamo is a website where you can basically rig your characters. You could also do it in Blender, of course. Um, this just makes it a lot easier. So we're gonna hit upload and upload our FX. And that should be done any second. And once it's done, um, you can select the bones of your character. Um, I'm gonna show that in a second when it's done. So now we need to select the bones. In my case, let's do chin up here, wrist is here, elbows are here, knees are somewhere here, I guess, maybe here, maybe a little bit more towards the middle, and groin is here. Let's hit next. Um, and this now generates bones for the character. And after about like 10 seconds, that should be done. And as you can see, the character has been rigged. It looks pretty good here. Um, don't um, think you did anything wrong if the character doesn't have textures. That's normal for Mixamo. Once you download the character, um, it should have textures. If not, you can simply apply, apply the old material from here. Let's go ahead and find uh, animation which we want. We can search for walking. Um, let's go with a cool animation. Maybe something like this. Let's increase the character arm space and we can hit download with skin and that should be done any second. Let's go ahead and open the FX in Blender. Let's hit file import FX and now we imported the model and as you can see it doesn't have textures. So in this case what we're simply gonna do is we're gonna use this model which already has textures. And we're gonna simply copy paste the space color in this channel, use it here, and we are done. So now the model walks. What we actually forgot to do is to put it in place because in my opinion it looks cooler. So let's do it again, but walking in place. And now that we did that, we are gonna import it again in here. And now as you can see, it's walking in place can use one of the materials we already had and if we now play the animation you can see it's now walking in place and the animation is going to be looping um, you can also just as you can see it stops here and you can just say what is it 33 I guess um, and if you have looping on it just goes on forever and now what we're gonna do next is we simply can save the image. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna use this 3D animation we just made on a website. 
Um, for this, we're gonna use the tool Spline. This is uh, a simple uh, website where you can just import your 3D models or 3D animations, and you get an iframe, um, which you can use for example, website, app, whatever, um, which is an easy way to kind of share, for example, 3D models on your app for your website. You can basically put uh, your 3D model everywhere. So, um, so we went ahead and saved this image in our folders. We also exported this FBX. Um, make sure when exporting you have um, bake animations enabled. So we're gonna go ahead and hit import. And as you can see after importing it doesn't have textures. So we're gonna go ahead and select this. And on the color we're gonna select image. And we can now upload the image we just exported. And after applying the texture we just uh, uploaded. We can see that if we select the model it has an event called start and an animation can simply play it and just scroll around a bit and now we have a 3d animation playing in our browser and we can now hit export and we can export it as whatever we want we have a custom viewer we can simply copy this code and now we have a 3d model on, on our website you could of course also export it in any other format you can use it in animations games etc and of course we have custom bones so you can uh, also go ahead into here and into pose mode and now you can play around with the character itself you can move different bones how uh, you want um, change posing maybe you want her to look back um, yeah and now we can of course also use the image AI tool to generate for example game icons or weapon icons maybe character icons for whatever you might need them um, using the pixel art model with pixel art selected or you could have you of course also use the texture eye to improve texture quality further there's a lot you can do and um, I hope this quick and short tutorial was helpful I think we are a bit over the time here but uh, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys soon